Today, we will be taking a look at the best music making apps to use in 2020. And as usual, we have the links to all the apps mentioned in this video in the description below. And be sure to subscribe for new content and drop a like below. Now, let's go straight to the video. Number 5. Moog Filtatron We've all heard of the legendary Moog, right? Well, if you haven't, they're synth pioneers. This app gives you the ability to run a sound through a virtual version of their beloved Moog filter we all love. You can use modulation, delay, and overdrive to really warp your sound. You input sound using a line or a mic input, sampler, or even their built-in oscillator. Even if you aren't too serious and just want to mess around, this app is super fun to play with. You can basically change your voice to sound like something completely unrelated if you get the FX right. The audio quality is okay at 16-bit 44.1 kHz, and you can record samples up to 10 megabytes. It's relatively cheap as well, so even if you want to grab it just to have, it won't disappoint. Number 4. Akai IMPC Pro Finally, we get to talk about one of our favorite brands of all time. We've all heard of the Akai MPC drum machines, right? Well, here's your app version. Let's see what we have here. 64 track capability, built-in sampling, huge sound library, 1400 plus, 3D performance mode, precision knobs and faders, chop up samples, note repeat, live sequencing, and three-band EQ. I'm not sure if Akai forgot any feature that's possible to transfer into an app. Number 3. Image Line FL Studio Mobile HD Yet another popular DAW in the form of an app, but this one is definitely legendary. It's a little cheaper than Cubasis. Here's some highlight features you'll be getting. A mini synth with 70 presets, 133 instruments, kits and loops, step sequencer up to 99 tracks, 10 effects, pitch blending, sampling, wave editor, customized individual tracks, and so much more. Once you're done with your tracks, you upload quickly to Dropbox or SoundCloud or quickly export it via email to show all of your friends. We highly recommend this one for beginners as well as intermediate music makers. It's super fun to use and the possibilities are pretty much endless. Number 2. Steinberg Cubasis Steinberg's Cubasis is a very popular digital audio workstation among music producers. Here's their version or versions of Cubasis in the form of an app. 
For Cubasis, it's another super app that gives you countless features. You have unlimited audio MIDI tracks, 24 assignable ins and outs, high quality resolution up to 24 bit, 96 kilohertz, mixer with FX, MIDI and audio loops built in, a sample and key editor, and more. The list goes on honestly, and although it's a bit more powerful than GarageBand, we had to put it second because of the price. It's one of the most expensive apps out there when it comes to music making, but you have to realize why. It's well worth the money in our opinion, so we wouldn't second guess grabbing it if you don't mind spending $30 on an app. Number 1. Apple GarageBand If you haven't heard of Apple GarageBand, it's one of the most popular digital audio workstations for Mac in the world at the moment. When it came to choosing number one for the article, we were having a difficult time going with a DAW, synth, or FX type. So we went with what we think is the best all-around music production app. With this thing, you can make full-on songs, virtual piano and drums, Record your voice with the mic and apply sound effects, use amps, stomp box effects, sampler, and a nice feature we like called Smart Keyboard, which helps you create grooves. There are way too many features to name in one paragraph, so check it out for yourself. If you want a quick answer for the best music making app that gives you basically all of it, here's the one. It's also super cheap. The only downfall is it's an iOS only works with both iPhone and iPad. So, we're sorry Droid and other smart device users. Check out the video below for a pretty thorough demo of GarageBand. Thanks for watching.